Welcome back. The watchful eye of a mother is hard to escape, which is why a group of mothers are banding together to stop the violence here in Hampton Roads. These women share an uncommon and tragic bond. Their children were murdered. Our Laura Queso is here with tonight's special report. Violence is not the answer. Pain is not the answer. Retaliation, not the answer. Love is the answer. This is a message from a group of mothers looking to take back our community. I have wished upon a million stars, but not one of them has brought you back. A million stars, a million tears. The days are tough, he says. I miss you, baby boy. Jermel Hayes is a baby boy he's talking about, shot and killed in Newport News six months ago, a junior in high school. I want to believe it's all a dream, but it's not. It's reality. It happens far too often in Hampton Roads. Some cities like Newport News have seen upwards of 40 teen shootings so far this year. I kept your favorite shoes and wear it I miss you. Sneakers were Jermel's passion. Me and my son used to always battle and debate about um, him going to college because he wanted to open a sneaker store. So she continued his dream and started a sneaker company, Mellow's World, something she wishes they could have done together when he was alive. The moment she learned he wasn't, May 15th, 2016. I was just frozen, stuck. She found out her son was shot and killed when police showed her a picture. She recognized his sneakers. We need to be there for one another. We need to have each other's back. We need to just help our youth grow. You have a sisterhood here. She's part of the group Mothers Against Violence, a group of mothers who share a unique bond that begins with tragedy. Their children have been murdered. Your child is my child. My child is your child. And they're asking you to help them do something about it. It's going to be a task, but I think if we all work together, we have to take back our community. Let this mind be in us, which was also in Christ Jesus. Four days before Christmas, uh, he was killed. She remembers her 24-year-old brother murdered in 2001. Her sister murdered a decade earlier. As a result, she and her mother felt the push to do something, and that something includes workshops, anger management programs, support groups, walks, marches, and shared moments of prayer. Like you were pleased with your son, Jesus, God. When they watch the news and they see someone's child gunned down, they need to realize that their children can be next that they need to come forward and let the police know what they saw to help put these people away. Karen Wadler's son was shot eight times during a robbery. The reality is many of these women don't know who shot their sons, but someone out there does. You know, our children, they know their killer. They know them. Lord, I pray God that not one of these young men will be a statistic. Just as Jermel once walked in his favorite sneakers, his mother is now running with a message. We need to take back our streets. We need to get our and they're taking steps towards preserving life, taking back our community with a walk scheduled in the next few months. For more information on their organization, head to the front page of wavy.com. Laura Queso, 10 on your side.